Here we have some wire questions here. A question 21 says, if x varies inversely as the square of y, s varies inversely as the square of y, given that s is equal to 12, when y is equal to half, find the value of x when y is equal to 3 over 4, and y when s is equal to 27. So if s varies inversely as the square of y, to remove this sign of variation, we introduce a constant k times 1 over y squared, which implies s is equal to k over y squared. k, therefore, is s times y squared. And as a given that s is 12, that will be 12 times when y is half. 1 over 2 squared, which is 12 times 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 4 here 1, 4 here 3. K therefore is 3. If K is 3, go back to the relationship, which is S is equal to K over Y square. That means S is equal to K is what? K is 3. 3 over Y square. But the question says find the value of X when Y is 3 over 4. So if Y is 3 over 4, that means S is equal to 3 is 3 there, divided by 3 over 4, which we can write as 3 divided by 3 over 4, and when we divide by a fraction, the division sign will change to multiplication. We then multiply by the reciprocal of this fraction, which is 4 over 3. 3 will cancel 3. X, therefore, is 4. That is for the first part of that question. Then the B part says, find Y when S is 27. Again, we go back to the relationship that exists between x and y. s is equal to k over y square. Now, question say we should find y when s is 27, meaning 27 is equal to k. k is 3. As it is right here, 3 over y square. Meaning 27y squared is equal to 3, I cross multiply, dividing both sides by 27. 27. y squared will be 27, um, 3 here 1, 3 here 9. So y squared is 1 over 9. y therefore, square root of 1 over 9. Square root of 1 over 9, square root of 1 is 1, square root of 9 is 3. Question 22 says the electrical resistance R ohms of a wire varies directly, varies directly as the length L and inversely as the square root, inversely as the square root of the diameter D. Express D in terms of L, R, and the constant of variation K. Okay, so if this varies directly as this and inversely as this, to remove this sign, we introduce a constant K and over root D. But the question says we should express D in terms of L, R, and the constant of variation K, meaning we have to make D the subject of this equation. Let's cross multiply first. R times root D is equal to KL. Divide both sides by R. So we can get rid of R here. L root D is equal to KL over R. To remove the square root, we need to square both sides. Square equal to KL 
over R square. Meaning D is equal to KL over R square. Now KL over R square. Now the B part of that question says, find the value of D correct to two decimal places. When L is 15, so D equal to KL, that is K is what? K is 1.25 times 10 to the power negative 3. Then L, L is 15 divided by R, R is um, 0 0.13. Then the square, look at it. D is KL over R square. We'll put in all the value of KL and R. So that D will be 1.25 times 15, 18.75 times 10 to the power negative 3 over 0 0.13. Then square. D will be 18.75 square will be 351.56 approximately. 351.56 times 10 to power negative 3 times 2 is negative 6 and over 0 0.13 square is 0 0.0169 and 351.56 divided by 0.0169 2802.51 times 10 to the power of negative 6. But the question said correct to two decimal places, meaning we need to express this not in standard form, but Correct to two decimal places. So first of all, let me express this in standard form so we can make it easy. This I can write this as two point one two three four eight zero eight zero times ten to the power one two three four four and times ten to the power negative six, which is two point zero eight. 0 times 10 to the power 4 minus 6, which is 2.080 times 10 to the power minus 2, which is 0 0.0208. Okay, so two decimal places, that is 0 0.02, approximately. That is a diameter, and the diameter should be in centimeter, right? Yes, diameter is in centimeter. Our answer is 0.02. Question 23. The electrical resistance R ohms of the copper wire varies directly as its length. R varies directly as its length. And inversely at the square of its radius, inversely at the square of its radius, R in centimeter, a copper wire of length L. Okay, first of all, let's get the relationship between them. If I remove this R, this uh, variation um, sign, R will be equal to KL over R square. A copper wire of length, to 625 meter and radius 0.25 centimeter as a resistance of 24 ohms. 
But if, first of all, the units are not the same. Here I have 0.25 centimeter, here I have 650 meters. So I need to convert them to the same unit. Converting this to centimeter, that will be 625 times 100, which is 62500. That is the length L. So, as a resistance of this, find an equation connecting R, L, and R. So that the copper wire of length this and radius this as a resistance of this 24, which is capital R, is equal to K is a constant, L, where is length, the copper wire of okay, length, and we converted this length to Centimeter, we have this a half times C two five zero zero over R. The radius is zero point two five square, meaning twenty four is equal to K times C two five zero zero over. 0 0.25 square, 0 0.0625. If we cross multiply, we have 24 times 0 0.0625 equal to K times 62500. K therefore is 24 times 0 0.0625 over 62500, 1.5 over 62500. In case that, an equation says, find an equation connecting R, L, and small r, with r equal to k, l over r square, but k now is 1.5 over 62,500. R therefore 1.5 over 62,500 L over R square. And calculate the radius of the same type of copper wire of length 500 meters and resistance 30 ohms. 30 ohms is equal to 1.5 over 62,500 times length is 500 over R square. Meaning 30 is equal to 1.5 times 500, that should be 750 or so, times 500. 750 over 62,500 R square. You cross multiply 30 times 62,500 R square equal to 750. 62,500 times 30, 187,000. R square equal to 750. R square therefore is 750 divided 1875,000. R square equal to 0 0.0004. R will be square root of 0 0.0004. The square root of that is 0.02. So the radius is 0.02 centimeters.